Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created, and He established them forever and ever. He gave a decree and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling His word, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for His name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for His people. Praise for all His saints, for the people of Israel who are near to Him. Praise the Lord. As the book of Psalms, also called the Psalter, nears its end, a resounding note of triumphant praise to God is swelling. More and more the final Psalms lift our hearts to praise the Lord, adoring Him and giving Him thanks. Psalm 148 is striking in that it calls the universe itself into this chorus of praise. Not only are the angelic beings to worship Him, but also the sun and moon, the shining stars, the highest heavens and upper stratosphere, the great sea creatures, the fire and hail, snow and mist, the mountains and hills, the animals and birds. All these are to praise the Lord. How? How does a blue whale praise God? How does a cardinal praise Him? Falling snow, the moon at night, here is how. By being themselves. By doing what God created them to do. A dolphin praises the Lord by swimming, leaping, frolicking, hunting, eating. By being a dolphin. The world in which we live is filled with inexhaustible detail and glory and beauty and diversity. Who would think that the same being could have thought up the lion and the flamingo, the snowflake and the sun? Such creations honor their creator by doing what he decreed them to do. Thank you.